Howdy. Life science. I just stumbled across this. Published one day ago. 4,500-year-old Sumerian temple dedicated to mighty thunder god discovered in Iraq. Archaeologists have unearthed the remains of a 4,500-year-old Sumerian temple at the heart of the ancient city of Girsu in southeastern Iraq. And I read a photo showing the mud brick remains of a Sumerian temple in what is now Iraq. Archaeologists in Iraq have unearthed the remains of a 4,500 year old Sumerian temple dedicated to Ningirsu, the Mesopotamian god of springtime thunder, the British Museum has reported. The lost city temple was built out of mud brick and was the spectacular centerpiece of the ancient city of Kirsu, now an archaeological site known as Tello. At the heart of Kirsu, we have discovered, are still currently excavating, one of the most important sacred spaces of all ancient Mesopotamia, <clears throat> the temple dedicated to the chief god of Kirsu. Sebastian Rey, a curator of ancient Mesopotamia and lead archaeologist at the British Museum in London, said in a presentation of the findings. Yeah, this is just an article with commercials. <laughs> anyway, Girsu was a bustling cultural center at the heart of Mesopotamia, a broad area between the rivers Euphrates, Euphrates and Tigris. Rivers of Babylon, once again. Eastern Syria, southeastern Turkey, part of western Iran and Kuwait, <clears throat> and home to some of the first civilizations. The Sumerians were possibly, only possibly, the oldest civilization in the world and the first to establish religion and a code of law. French archaeologist Ernest de Sarzesc first discovered the remains of Kirso in 1877 and removed all the artifacts he could find, including a 4,000-year-old statue of the Sumerian king Gudea, who ruled the city at the end of the 3rd millennium BC, 5,000 years ago. As a result, many people thought that there was nothing left to excavate. Multiple periods of conflict have also prevented scientists from accessing the site in the Dikwar province of southern Iraq. Ray and his team, however, could not shake the idea that Girzu had more secrets to reveal. <clears throat> After the Second World War and years of conflict that followed later in Iraq, the site of Kirsu fell into semi-oblivion, Ray said. It is not fanciful to say today that Kirsu is probably one of the most important heritage sites in the world that very few people know about. Now, more than a century after archaeologists last explored the remarkable site, Ray's team has unearthed the vast temple. Archaeologists used remote sensing techniques to reveal features of the site buried under sand and other deposits. They also created digital elevation models to understand how the landscape has changed since the excavations of the 19th century. Yeah, how much has the landscape changed in the past 6,000 years would be also probably very interesting. Look at that. They even drew, draw people there. A digital reconstruction showing how the Sumerian temple at Kirisu may have looked 4,500 years ago. But didn't they talk about 3,000 years BC, earlier. 
anyway. After five seasons of excavations at the temple site, we are able to uncover a large area of this ancient sanctuary, including the inner sanctum, a ceremonial square, an interior wall which featured a gate. And we were also to able to identify and excavate part of the enclosure wall of the religious complex, including a monumental gate, Ray said. The temple referred to, an, to in ancient inscriptions as Eninu, or the White Thunderbird, housed the sacred statue of the hero thunder god Ningirsu, one of the most important gods of the Sumerian pantheon. The Sumerians believed that Ningirsu held power over spring thunder, rainstorms and floods, as well as commanding the plow and plowing of the land, according to the British Museum. <laughs> Remarkably, the newly unearthed walls surrounding the sacred site perfectly match a map carved into the statue of King Gudea found during the early excavations. Eninu, the White Thunderbird, is the oldest temple for which we have detailed inscriptions. An archaic plan carved into the statue of the king. Maybe it's not that archaic as you think it is. Somehow it makes me really angry how they always downplay those ancient people, like everything was just crude and archaic and blah blah blah, and at the same time they're really astounded and, and st astonished that how it was it possible for them to create all these things, to know all these things. <clears throat> Maybe they should also ask how is it possible that all these things they knew got forgotten or misinterpreted, or ignored. We were able to test our theory by opening a series of excavation soundings and identifying, for example, the foundations of a temple gate, exactly where we predicted the temple gate would be, according to the 4,000-year-old plan. Uh, here it stops. <laughs> but anyway... Just before when I read this, the temple referred to in ancient inscriptions as Eninu or the White Thunderbird, housed the sacred statue of the hero thunder god Ningirsu, one of the most important gods of the Sumerian pantheon. The Sumerians believed that Ningirsu held power over spring thunder, rainstorms, and floods. <laughs> mm, this might be a sign. I don't know when this happened. Like, let's say when they published all that stuff and found it. But we are going into spring. And now, as we know about this and they found this, this might be a sign that... They <laughs> There could be some flooding going on in springtime by the rivers of Babylon. Yeah, might be a crazy thought, but since we are living in the times we are living in, it would not come as any surprise. Do we have to check out where this is? Somehow I was just thinking about the earthquake activity in Turkey. And some of the quakes have reached the region of Göbekli Tepe and stuff like that. So let's try to figure it out. There was something. Tello, I remember. Check it out. <clears throat> it found it already. Maybe this knowledge of what I just read to you, even though it was published somehow a day ago. Isn't that new after all? I don't know. Let's whoa. Let's just have a look at these. Yeah, this doesn't look crude to me at all.
Is this where the map is of the city? Hmm. Yeah, it would be really cool once to talk with someone. I mean, really talk. Who knows about these much better than I do. <laughs> Plasma instabilities all over the place. <laughs> That's amazing. Even here. Do you think it's a coincidence that they go like that? That's just amazing. These might also represent Venus in a way. Do we have Thunderbirds here? We have probably a Squatterman. Maybe. And on the left side might be a Thunderbird. The white Thunderbird. I don't know. How does this look somehow wet? Maybe it was raining. But there's water. <laughs> As we are talking about the white thunder god, which is responsible for the th spring thunder. Yeah. You can check it out. I will put links below to the stuff. And Yeah. I find this stuff very interesting. But before I almost forgot, I really would like to see where we are. Ah, we are so far south. Okay. So there isn't any earthquake activity yet, or from significance. It's going on up here and down here, spreading out, out there. But we might have to expect something going on once here as well. Huh. Yeah. Amazing times. You can literally see history happening. Amazing. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>